If you're a girl you have goals but you always let it slide because of your excuses, this video is for you. Ito yung mga reasons na sinasabi mo sa isip mo when you don't want to do something. This is the little voice inside your head that tells you to put things off, to delay, to postpone your errands, to avoid the hard work, and to find a reason why you can't do something. Dahil tamad ka, you lack self-discipline, and obviously, you lack self-control. Here are the things that you need to remind yourself to stop making the excuses. Number one, girl, every time you find yourself making an excuse to do a task na related sa dream goal mo, always remember, excuses never changes anything. It keeps you in the same place forever. Nothing will happen if you keep making those excuses inside your head. You'll remain worse in your situation. Keep saying you want to save up for your dream business, but every month, my big girl purchase ka. Konting small win lang, may makita ka lang progress, you overspend, you overtreat yourself, and you over reward yourself. So how will you ever achieve your dream goal? Or maybe every year you post quotes like, I will be rich this 2024. But what actions are you taking to make that happen? You might also be making excuses in your relationship. Lagi mo sinasabi wala kang peace of mind. Lagi kang umiiyak. Very toxic na ang relationship mo with your boyfriend. But why haven't you addressed your needy and desperate trait? Why do you still allow that behavior to continue? Or maybe you feel unconfident about your body. Yung pag tinitingnan mo yung sarili mo sa salamin, you don't like what you see. But why do you still keep abusing your body with unhealthy food? Will anything change if that's what you do? Girl, let me ask you this. Have you done kahit one thing lang today or one task today na related sa dream goal mo? Probably not. That's why you are still stuck. Stuck sa zero savings, toxic relationships, and feeling unhappy. Because again, you always complain, you always make excuses na bukas ko na lang to gagawin, and you're not taking any action to change your messy situation. Ako, four years ago, I was broke and unemployed. And worse, I have been denied twice. Sa dream job ko to work abroad. Alam mo, yung isip ko was filled with so many excuses like, hindi ko talaga alam where to start. Walang nag-guide sa akin kung anong next step. I don't know how to do something. I was hopeless. Hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-improve yung situation ko. And I realized ko that all my problems were just in my head. And the paparalyze ang isip ko, kaka-overthink ng perfect plan. Every day, I was complaining. And every day, it's just getting worse. Mas naging unhappy ako sa life ko. Mas naging broke ako lalo. Because, again, I wasn't taking any steps to improve my situation. Ayoko ng gantong buhay. I want to change big time. And I did change slowly. Tatanungin mo ako paano ko sinamulan. I just took action. Nag-all-in ako sa content creation career ko. Wala akong guarantee if kikita ba ako dito. Sinilence ko yung mga excuses sa isip ko at sinabayan ko ng pag-take action. When I started my content creation career, I had plenty of excuses too. I need to have an expensive camera, katulad ng mga vloggers, yung G7 Mark II. I need to have a tripod first. Kailangan may ring lights ako. And at first, I felt really stuck. Because I thought I have to have everything before starting. If I had let those excuses control me, I wouldn't be where I am today. Sa umpisa, sobrang hirap talaga kasi wala akong followers, nagsishameless vlog ako sa mga social media accounts ko, dami kong iyak that time, but it didn't stop me to stop pursuing my dream goal. Siguro, I might still be in the job that I hated and missing out on a lot of opportunities. O kaya ko naman pala mag-produce ng decent video kahit yung gamit ko lang that time was my old iPhone 11 na ilang years na sa akin kahit na pinapatong-patong ko lang yung shoebox ko para may tripod ako and mas maganda pa yung natural lighting dito sa bintana ng kwarto ko girl, you need to change your self-talk na kapag may pumasok na excuse sa isip mo tinatamad kang magtrabaho ngayon always remember excuses never changes anything it will keep you stuck forever so, wag mo na yan i-postpone wag mo na yan i-delay gawin mo na yan ngayon number 2 every time you find yourself making an excuse Take a moment to visualize your Pinterest dream life. Ako, whenever I find myself making an excuse to do something, to skip filming day for me, or I feel lazy about writing my content, sometimes nabuboard ako sa daily routine ko kasi paulit-ulit na lang siya. Ang ginagawa ko niyan is na-imagine ko I have this colorful calendar filled with brand events that I love na invited ako all while getting paid. I picture myself being invited to brand events abroad with some of the famous vloggers in my niche. I see my bank account, my 
millions na. I dream of traveling to countless countries. I envision myself enjoying first class airplane tickets and airport lounges without worrying about returning to work, running out of money. I picture myself working smart sa content creation career ko. I have real assets, passive income. I want to go back to New York City on a Christmas day. Gusto ko pumunta sa Hollywood Studios during Halloween. Siyempre, ma-visit yung every Disneyland in the world. Ang dami kong ini-imagine every time na tinatamad ako. And that is one of the reasons why kahit wala akong motivation, yun yung stronger why ko that keeps me going. So girl, whenever you find yourself making an excuse, just remember to focus on your dreams and visualize the life you want to create for yourself. Number three, every time you find yourself making an excuse, remember the accomplished feeling you'll experience after completing the task. Alam mo yung feeling na you've been super productive all day and you get to check something off sa to-do list mo. Diba, pansin mo, you do this little victory dance. Hindi mo mapipigil ang sarili mo mag, yes, natapos ko ang kailangan kong gawin ngayon. You feel proud of yourself for finally finishing something you've been postponing for so long. Doesn't it feel amazing afterwards? Just imagine completing that big project you've been putting off, pushing yourself to run the extra mile, or think about how rewarding it is to put in the extra hour of work. Diba? It's not just the physical results. It's about the feeling inside. The sense of achievement that comes from doing something. Bago ka mag-work, lagi mong niririmind ang sarili mo of that feeling of accomplishment, it's powerful. It can motivate you to overcome this excuse in the days na wala kang motivation. Ako, based from my personal experience, I have this one day in a week where I dedicate the entire day just filming content for my YouTube and TikTok. It's a full-on production day. Then, there are days naman where I spend hours and hours brainstorming, researching, reading, trying to come up with new ideas na nilalabas ko sa social media accounts ko. And sometimes, ang irap niya and it will take me hours to finish it. It's really draining sometimes. I remind myself how good it feels when I see my finish videos to see my contents getting views. Napapa victory dance talaga ako. Buti na lang nag-film ako sa mga times na hindi ko gusto mag-film. Meron ako nakita dito sa iPad ko na video ko last May 3, 2024 and I was filming myself making my new TikTok account with zero followers kasi during that day also na suspend yung old TikTok account ko with 295,000 followers. If nagpadala ako sa excuses ko siguro yung TikTok account ko ngayon zero followers pa din. Wala pa din ako earnings, wala pa din akong brand collaborations and siguro, broke na ako ngayon nagahanap na ako ngayon ng trabaho girl, it's all about training your brain to focus on the reward the more you experience that feeling of accomplishment the more you'll crave it and that craving will motivate you to keep pushing through the challenges. And I also have videos here if you want to complete your dream goals. Number four, every time you find yourself making an excuse, remember, the only way you see result is if you stay consistent. Diba? Sobrang dali when you're starting a new project, a new goal, kasi inspired ka, excited ka. But the real challenge is sticking with it, especially when it gets tough. Girl, if you're not willing to put in the hard work and effort every single day, you will never achieve your dreams. Think about it this way. Imagine, nagtatanim ka ng seed. Diba? You can't just plant it, tas kinaumagahan or after a week, you expect a beautiful flower garden to bloom in a short period of time. It takes so much time, so much effort, so much care, and so much consistency in watering it, and kailangan niya ng sunlight for it to grow. The same goes for anything you want to achieve in your life. Di mo makikita ang results if you only work out once a week. You won't be successful in your career, in your business, if you only work for a few hours in a week. And the more consistent you are, the more likely you are to achieve your dream goals. Imagine, you're climbing a mountain and yung pinaka-top represent your dream goal. Siyempre, sa mountain, may mga rocks and those rocks represents the excuses. You could choose to focus on the rocks to let them stop you or you can choose to climb over them to push through and reach the top. Every time you choose to make an excuse, you're choosing to stay at the bottom of that mountain. And gusto mo ba yun? Just a recap, how to stop making excuses for your dream goals. Excuses never changes anything. It keeps you in the same place forever. Remind yourself of your dream life. Remind yourself of the accomplished feeling you'll get after completing the task. And number four, remind yourself that the only way to see results is if you stay consistent every single day. Girl, what's the one task that you can do today that is related to your dream goal? That's it for today's video. See you next week. Next week.